Hello everybody, welcome back to the AI video. In this one, we're back in chat LLM Teams, and today I want to show you some of the recent updates and upgrades. It is fantastic. It seems like every day when you log into the AI space, we are moving towards AGI. There are new releases literally every day, and chat LLM Teams is at the forefront. The crew over there at Abacus AI is delivering the goods and I wanna show you some of the new ones. Let's dive in, let's take a look. All right, now, before we take a look at the new upgrades, updates, and the cool things you can do with Chat LLM, first thing you wanna do is you wanna to go to their website, abacus.ai. They've got a crack team over there and they are releasing things every week. It's absolutely nuts. When you're on the website, links in the description below, of course. Click on Chat LLM up at the top here. You'll see Chat LLM, Code LLM, and this one, we're going with Chat LLM. And when you do that, Real quickly here, you'll see that it says it's $10 per user per month. I mentioned that because that is half the price of a chat GPT license and you get 10 times more. It's absolutely wild. So there we go. I'm going to click on get started. Once you do that, you're in. And now let's take a look at what's going on. All right. Once you're logged in, you should see a screen that looks like this. The first thing I like to do, head up to the top here, click on the down arrow. Right now it says root LLM for me, which I'm going to talk about in a few seconds here. But when you click on that arrow, you're going to see here that you have access to all of these in incredible state-of-the-art large language models for Omni, Sauna 3.5, O1 Mini, and yes, O1, that is the full model from OpenAI. It's in there. And quickly, while I got you here, look at this here. If we go down a bit, DeepSeek version 3. Today is December 27th, 2024. This came out like eight hours ago, and they've already integrated it into Chat LLM. So they do not mess around over there at Abacus AI. They deliver the goods. That said, we're going to go to the O1 model here, and I'm going to show you how to upload documents and have it analyzed and looked at by O1, which you cannot do with chat GPT. Let me show you how to do that right now. All right, here we are, we're logged in. You'll see here I've got O1 selected, the big one from OpenAI here. First thing I'm gonna show you is how to upload your own documents. And then from there, you can go ahead and summarize them and do all sorts of cool things. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. So I'm in chat LLM Teams, we're in the O1, gonna go into my finder. If you're on a PC, go to Explore. I'm gonna grab an example here, a PDF, and this is the new Byte Latent Transformer document or I guess the white paper that Meta just released. It's quite long and it's quite involved. Here we go. I'm just going to drag and drop it in here just like that. Watch this. Here you go. It takes just a few seconds here. Byte latent transformer patches. It's been uploaded. If I go to chat GPT, here we go. I'm in chat GPT. I'll start a new chat here. If I try to do the same thing, yes, you, you guessed it. <laughs> it doesn't work. It works in chat LLM teams. So that's the first thing I want to show you. So I mean, yeah, Chat LLM Teams is a little better in my opinion because of things like this, but here we go. We've uploaded it now. If I wanted to go write a 1,000 word summary of this document, and this is just one of many things you can do. Watch this. Check this out. It's just going to go ahead. It's going to analyze the document. O1, because it's a little bit more uh, a little bit more inference time heavy. It'll take a few seconds to go ahead and cook through this. Once it's done, I'm going to come back, show you what we got. And I'm going to show you the more cool things you can do with O1 here. All right. Take a look at that here. So we've gone ahead and written a 1,000 word summary. And it took a few seconds. And here it is. Introduction. Motivation for byte level modeling. Patching mechanism. Please keep in mind that I just dragged and dropped in the file and I said, hey, give me a summary and job done. Absolutely wild. And again, this is only in chat LLM team, so it's pretty cool here. The next thing I want to show you, though, is O1, and we're going to use the playground. And what I mean by playground is it is the artifact playground where we're going to get some real time coding in its own window. It is awesome. Let me show you that next. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to code with O1. And not only that, we're going to have the artifacts playground. The window is going to pop up. It is fantastic. So let's just go ahead and click here on new chat. And by the way, if you want to close this sidebar, all you got to do is click on this little toggle right here. Uh, let's close it for this one here. There we go. So we're in O1 again. Do keep in mind that O1 is now part of the root LLM, and that is the smart routing technology or smart router technology, depending on how you want to pronounce that. So that basically what you do is you type in your prompt or your query, you select root LLM, and then it will send the query or the prompt to the best large language model. So it will just go ahead and basically direct it. It's like a, <laughs> it's like a traffic uh, controller. So here we go. I'm going to go back to O1 for this one though. So I just want to make sure I show you how good it is with O1 here. And then watch this. I'm just going to copy and paste in a prompt here. In the playground right here, 
create an interactive metrics dashboard for a website display KPI. So there we go. Just a nice simple website with some KPIs and some dashboards here. I'm going to go ahead and click on the go button. Watch what happens here. It's going to load up the artifacts or the playground, pardon me, on the right side. You won't see this anywhere else. It'll take a few seconds again because it's 01 and it takes a second or two. I'm going to come back when it's done thinking and then I'm going to show you how this looks. All right, here we go. We are coding with 01 and we're doing it in chat LLM teams. It is fantastic right here. Let's take a look. On the left side here, it says in the playground, create an interactive metric dashboard for a website displaying KPI. Okay, cool. So here is the code and it is great. If we want to copy it, we just click that button here. But look on the right side here. This is where the artifact window is or the playground. I guess that's the better way of putting it. The playground is here on the right side and it is exactly that. It gives us the code, which is one thing and that's great, but watch this. When I click on preview, here we go. We get a visual representation of what we just cooked up there and it looks fan fantastic in fact that's very well done but hey you know what maybe we want to add to it we want to add some spice watch this i'm just going to paste in another prompt and i say hey that's fantastic but can you make it more advanced add some more charts some other types of kpis watch this it's going to go ahead i'm going to add that i'm going to click on the button it's going to go ahead we're using o1 it's going to think about it i'm going to come back when it's done show you what we got and then i'm going to show you another couple cool things while i got you all right welcome back so it's gone ahead and added in a bunch of new stuff here let me show you what i'm talking about here on the left side we went ahead and did it the first time and we got a pretty cool thing but then i said hey let's add some spice to it let's make it a little better add some more charts some kpis here on the left side you'll see it went ahead and recoded it and it gave us the new version. Now on the right side, again, we're in the playground. I'm gonna switch from code to preview. And when you do that, look at that here. It's gone ahead and added in visitors, conversion rate, average session in minutes, bounce rate, new user rate. Now, of course, these are fictitious values, but look at that. It added in a new chart here by device usage breakdown. It did all that. It did it with 01, and you can only do this as of December 27, 2024. You can only do this with chat LM team. LM team, pardon me. This is wild stuff. Let me show you something else, though, while I got you. All right, the next thing I want to show you is Root LLM. This is the smart router. It basically sends your prompt or query to the correct large language model, the one that will handle your query or question or prompt the best. I'm going to paste in a math prompt here. And this is a fancy math question. It's got fractions and all sorts of things that I don't really remember how to do. Long story short, though, we've got root LLM selected. I'm going to hit the go button here. Watch what happens here. It selects what well, did it pretty damn fast. If you ask me, it says root LLM and then it routed it to 01. That's what I wanted to show you. If you have complicated questions or queries or things like that, 01 is now part of the selection set. So you can go ahead and use OpenAI's flagship model. And everybody knows that 01 and their new stuff, their new models, they're just killing it in the math, in the coding side of things. And chat LLM Teams is set up to take advantage of that. Literally, it goes there directly. You don't even have to select it. Just select root LLM and it gets the job done. If you want to go ahead and regenerate with one of the other models, for example, maybe you wanted to see what Claude Sonic comes up with. Again, one click and watch this. It's now routing it directly to Claude Sonic 3.5. It does the step-by-step -step plan. And look at that here. It's doing this while I sit here and watch this. It's going ahead and cooking it as well. So there we go, guys. This is all now included in chat LLM Teams. It is absolutely amazing. It is so much value for money. It's unbelievable. You definitely got to take a look. Links in the description below. Thanks for watching.